Now, I want to continue with order of operations and do a few problems with exponents. So we have one that is 2 exponent 3 times 1. We need to do the exponents first. That goes back to our please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, which reminds us the order. So 2 times 2 is, so this I'll just break it down so you can see what it is, and then it's times the 1. So all of this, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times 1 equals 8. Then I have 8 divided by parenthesis negative 2, closed parenthesis, exponent 2, times 9. So this tells me that I should do anything inside the parentheses first, but there's nothing to do. That's just telling me keep this negative sign attached to this number 2 when you square it. So I will write the problem down again, and I have 8 divided by, so this is negative 2 times negative 2. That's what the square is telling me to do, or this exponent 2. So negative 2 times negative 2 gives me a positive 4, and then times 9. Now, do not do this multiplication before you do this division. This is what we must do first. So 8 divided by 4 is going to give me a 2. Then I can do 2 times 9, which will give me 18. So there was that, and there was that. Then the next problem is a negative 9 divided by 3 divided by 3 in parentheses and squared. So I need to do this division first. So negative 9 divided by 3, that is going to generate, 3 goes into 9 three times, but because there's a negative sign, it stays negative. I'll go ahead and keep the parentheses. Show this division. And th negative 3 divided by a positive 3 is a negative 1. I'll keep that and I need to square it. So negative 1 times negative 1 equals a positive 1. And then we have negative 10 minus 1 plus 9 squared. And what does that equal? So I need to do this squaring first. I'll go ahead and just copy this down. And 9 times 9 is 81. Now I need to move over here and I need to deal with this subtraction before I get to this addition. So here is an example when I really want you to do the keep it, change it, change it. So now you can see that you're actually adding these two negative numbers together. So I have negative 11 plus 81 which is actually going to be a subtraction problem. And the 1 minus the 1 is 0. And then the 8 minus the 1 is 7. And because the 81 is larger than the negative 11, you're going to leave it as a positive number. So there's the answer to that.